Hello again guys, welcome back to Hammer and Anvil Gaming. This is my Total War Three Kingdoms Lubu Legendary Campaign. And when we left off, we kind of discovered the hard way that there is a current bug going on, and this is due to me starting this campaign prior to a major release. I can't remember which one it was now, 1.6 something, I think. Um, which means that we can't... Something's happened here where Li Qinshu has positioned herself on the Kingdom of Songs capital with an increased area of effect. Um, reinforcement range, which means we can't actually attack their capital. Can attack other ones, can't attack this one. So <laughs> we can't outright defeat them by taking their capital. So we need to instead do as much damage as possible to uh, Yuan Shao. Well, sorry. Um, Yuan Shao is now dead, uh, replaced by Sun Si. We need to get him to the point where he will abdicate. So he's at minus 13.9. So if we continue to inflict heavy losses on him, I'm pretty sure he'll cave relatively soon. Um, so yeah, um, we were suffering from a bug where I couldn't open the court panel. Um, just realized I should, probably should have checked this before I started the campaign. Let's see if we can click it. No. <laughs> no, we cannot. Okay, so this is going to crash the game out. Which is a problem. So, <laughs> this is ridiculous. So I'm going to jump back in. Annoying that I can't continue campaign because I was actually playing the sea ship one last time. Um, so we're going to have to just keep playing for a bit longer until hopefully that bug wears off like it did before. Um, and in the meantime, we're just going to have to not use the court panel. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. Yeah, apologies for that. Okay, yeah. Oh, I was playing Kong wrong. Apologies, that was actually what I was doing. Jin 则难免落个两败 Okay, so this is Dian Wei encircling Qian and Ting and um, uh, Ding Zhu, but we're not going to actually attack that. We're going to let them attack out if they want. So yeah, going back over here. Can't use court. We can use existing spies, but we can't assign a new spy because that will also crash the game. Um, and I think if we can't deal more damage to... Uh, if there are no more characters for us to fight, um, then probably the best thing to do is to send Lu Bu at Zhu Huang, and then we can take him out and get the uh, Greatest Warriors achievement for that. Ji Ling is moving west here to take out uh, Liu Zhang, so hopefully we'll get that done soon. It's probably more or less the end of the turn. Um, what's this? Hidong. Hidong Commander is unhappy, which I'm not surprised. But it's got a decent garrison, so hopefully we'll be able to hold off against Zhu Huang and the forces of, well, bandits, basically, whoever the bandits are now. Uh... Hmm. I think we should pull back and support Hefu, actually. So let's break off the siege. And we'll actually go to Force March. I'm not too concerned of being attacked. I think Machao can probably handle it. All right, so let's end the turn. OK. 
like it. Lube will hopefully be helping me out over here. The good thing about not being able to attack um, Sensei's capital is that um, it actually means that Liu Bei can't take Sensei's capital either. <laughs> uh, Qian and Ting wants to talk to us on a peace deal. Um, no, let's reject that. Which means she might sally out? No, okay. Okay, so we're going to be trying to defend Luoyang Trade Port against a ton of Liu Zhang's forces. Um, probably not going to be able to do this. They haven't got very good generals, though. So I think let's give it a go, see how much damage we can do. Okay, so they're all coming from this direction. Um, let's put the barricade... Uh, they're definitely going to be coming through this way, aren't they? So let's put the... Hmm, is it going to let us put the barricade here? Probably not. Seems to be a lot happier about going here. Put the decent Sabre infantry at the front. And then we'll... Hmm. Put everyone on guard mode. Archer's there. Archer captain there. Archer's there. Archer captain there. So he's overlapping both. Get some Sabre Lisha there to back up. Sabre Lisha here to back up. And the rest can go sort of like here. Oh god, got so much arch, so many arches. It's crazy. Alright, let's start the battle. I'm going to send a unit over here just in case. Okay, um... Let's 
put the unit over here as well. He seemed to be kind of thinking about moving that way around. Oh yeah, cow trops. Don't forget cow trops. Good job we put the barricades there, huh? Okay, it looks like they've been caught by the towers, so now they're getting pulled over this way. It's going to be where the majority of the force has come from. Okay, we should be alright that flank. Okay, good. The cavalry is running through here. Oh, 
Okay, we've got guys coming back from routing. Good job, guys. Throw those archer guys in. Not surprised they're routing, they're fighting actual troops and their archers, so. Okay, we really need these units. Right, let's run these guys back over here. Some units coming back. Damn it, our units keep routing for no reason. Yeah, I don't think we got this. The generals have killed so many. Oh, we got some routing. Okay, 
I think we killed Liu Zhang. Yeah, we killed Liu Zhang. Those pearl dragons are going to be a pain now. I don't know if we can actually win this. Okay, now we got the towers back. We might have a chance. Oh man, come on. No. Oh no, the Cavs coming back as well. No, that's it. They got us. <laughs> oh my god, that was so close. Yeah, the Sabre Militia really underperformed there. We did take out Lu Zhang. Okay, so we lost Liu Yang, but it isn't the source of all of our trade agreements anymore, so that's good. Though what's not good is Liu Bei taking it, which I can see him doing. Which would really suck. Oh, damn it. Alright, let's keep moving. Xiao Jing, the administrator of Chen. I doubt there's any industry there, right? No. But the expertise would be good, so let's go with that for now. Liu Yingshan, one of our daughters, has ranked up as well. Um, let's give her more expertise. Gives her industrial exploitation, which means we might end up making use of her as an assignment. Sen Cheng as well. Plus ten percent recruitment cost. This army, hmm. not great. But he might make a decent administrator yeah? given enough time. Okay, that's everything done there. Um. Uh, I don't know what to do with him. Machao, however, we're obviously gonna... Assume we have night battles. We do. Okay, so let's just take this guy out first.
Oh, the bar's just not acknowledging anything. All right, let's delegate that. Wang Shu, charismatic, formidable, energetic. It's not not bad. Plus three public order and administered command. Eh. Let's release him. Don't fall about. him as well. Garrison Hefu now. Still says medium casualties, not a fan of that. Minus 37% corruption, oof. Okay, what can we build at Hoinan? Uh, we could just upgrade the settlement. You could get someone to just pay for the discount on this, because it's quite a lot of money to pay in one point, so minus 10% construction cost is like, yeah, 1,100 Koku. So, not Koku, sorry. Whatever the currency is, copper. Um, let's get Liu Yingshan on that. We can always upgrade that later on. Again, ridiculously high. Got minus four percent corruption from the copper coin mint. That's pretty good. But I think we still might want to get an administration office. Copper coin mint would be nice. Get another minus 4% corruption. I feel like the garrison can hold for long enough for us to build it. Don't think anyone's going to really attempt to take it anyway. Oh, there's so much going on. And there's the timer as well. Where have I got these assignments going? Kang Wu.
Okay, so if we build... It's very much about food, so we want to build a land development here. We've got one at Luo Yang and one at Chen. Yeah, so might as well upgrade the Confucian Temple here as well. Let's repair all the damage they've done here. What's Shangdang? Oh, this is territory re pretty much only just taken, isn't it? Let's build a government support. That's probably worth doing as well. Let's upgrade that craftsman shacks. All right, I think that's everything we want to do building wise. Um, we're probably in the next episode, we're going to attack Gong Suzanne's forces here and make sure that Shangdang doesn't fall or Hidong. And then we're going to have Lubu chase down Zhu Huang and then hopefully we'll take him out and we'll get the boat benefit for defeating him, which is, what is that? Uh, five elite Zhu Hong plus five morale everywhere. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next part.